Hey guys, welcome to groups. Um, here we go uh, for the icebreaker. What is your favorite story of all time? Book, movie, uh, musical, I don't care. What, what's your favorite story and what's the tale it tells? Go ahead now that you've done that and go through the kids' questions, talk with your kids, uh, work through these as a group, and then when you're done, come back and I'm going to read this tiny font and get your questions out to you. Question one, how did the challenge from last week go? Did you try pushing through one of those Psalms? Um, was there anything um, really good that came out of it? Uh, time, what, what came out of that time experience that you had? Question number two, did you have any initial thoughts on the book of Judges, the stuff you'd read before you came into uh, the message? This week. Read Judges 2, 8 to 19, and ask yourself these questions. What verse stands out to me? Um, what do um, you learn about people from this passage? And what do you learn about God from this passage? So go ahead, read that and kind of work it through, uh, filter it through those three questions. In Judges 2.10, we read that, um, that the next generation of Israel, Israel, Israelites didn't follow God. Um, and we realize that we're always one generation away, right? From the, from the, from the church not taking the message on to the next generation and them not following God. So, um, what are some ways you can cultivate your personal walk with God so that that doesn't happen? And the next part of that is, um, what is the difference between knowing God and knowing about God? So since 2022 began, we've been working our way Genesis through Judges now. And uh, what I would like to do is um, we're looking at this storyline. What are some ways, um, or maybe like this, as a group, take some time and recount. Tell one another the story. Like try to chart it, like starting with, you know, Abraham, Adam and Eve, and then maybe their sons. And try to build a timeline with your group of all the stories up till Judges and see what you get. And at the end of that, um, let's see if there's any gaps. Is there anything you missed? Any key characters? You're like, oh man, I can't believe we forgot Noah. You know, something like that. So just try to build a timeline up to Joe Judges and let's see um, uh, how that goes. And then take some time and really work together to fill in those gaps. Don't be afraid uh, to lean in on this and see what you've actually learned and how your knowledge has increased. As you read through the book of Judges and the book of, um, and the devotion book, um, think about how this book might reveal or point to Jesus to develop the story of Israel that will culminate and really come together in the person of Jesus. How is the book of Judges kind of pointing us back towards the person of Jesus Christ? Don't forget to jump at that Digging Deeper section. Uh, dive into that if you guys have time. And I hope you had a great week in uh, work, in groups, and, um, and head out blessed and ready to grow and share the love of God with those around you. Grace and peace, friends. Thanks for joining us in groups.